Mules, in this video I would be explaining you about how to deploy applications uh, via Cloud Hub API. You all know that uh, usually we do deploy our applications via Runtime Manager, right? So it's like go to deploy application, enter the name, choose the file. This is one of the ways which we upload, you know, deploy the application or we go to any point studio, run from there. Uh, right click on the project and go to any point platform deploy the application that is another way and the other common ways are they every organization has their own ci cd platform which will pull the project from different repositories for example github and they have their uh, scripts to deploy the application into cloud so in this video i would be explaining you about how to use this ap cloud up api of mulesoft to deploy the applications using REST client. When I say like REST API, uh, Cloud Hub API, the name itself is API, right? That means we will be able to deploy our application via Postman, right? And like this, something like this, using the JSON collection. Or you can create a Mule application itself to deploy your applications. Uh, so we will be seeing about how to do this. But before going into further discussions, I would like to or show you that we do have in exchange something called cloud up api though it shows v1 version over here uh, we use v2 endpoint okay so there are a lot of um, resources available here it, which explains uh, you know the, for example applications which explains what it does and there are how to log in everything is clearly explained in this exchange so please go through it but um, as we don't have time to explain all the endpoints in this particular video i would be explaining you how to deploy an application basically using postman okay so first things which we need to do i'll make it simpler i won't take much of your time so first things what you have to do is so this is the postman collection which i have created to deploy an application all right so first things you have to do is first you have to log in with your credentials so the first thing you have to do is use this anypoint.mulesoft.com accounts and login and then you have to give your username which is nothing but your anypoint platform username and then the password all right so i'm not going to show you my password here so but once you have clicked on send you will be getting your bearer token so this is the token which you need to use for our further deployment process so once we get this access token the next thing you have to do is go to organization id you have to fetch the organizations because for example manually if you want to deploy the applications you have to check what is the business organization because a organization can have multiple business accounts business groups so choose which business groups you want as this is my trial account i have only one business groups so you can also try you know this is not something which can be accessed only in organizations but even you can create a trial free trial account in any point platform and try it out so for now i have only one business groups so the first thing i have to do is get all the organizations informations to so how to get that so it's like anypoint.mulesoft.com accounts api and me this is the endpoint which you have to use and pass your token in the authorization tab and choose the type as bearer token and paste the token that you got from your login api all right so once this uh, once you hit this endpoint you can see here you know you will be getting all the user information related to your account for me this is a trial account so you can see my first name last name details my email id etc and then uh, my username which is any point platform and here you can see the organization information so what is the name of my organization currently i have given as mulesoft because here here you can see right my master business group is mulesoft then if you have more than you know if you have more than one organization uh, groups business groups you will get all these things so next next thing you have to do is which environment you have to deploy right so we know that for trial account at least we have two uh, environments one is design and the other one is sandbox so i wanted to deploy my application into sandbox account so how to get that information for that you have to copy this organization id whatever is present over here and then the next step is to get the environment id how to do that so pass that particular uh, organization id here 
in the URI params of this endpoint. So, I will probably try to uh, give all the endpoint details or JSON collection uh, in the video description and uh, probably you can utilize it or you can also go to cloud app api you know everything is available over here for example so organizations right just do control f and say organizations you can see here that uh, there is an overview of organization so this is the uh, basically this is the endpoint which i am using here right so then at last environment so this is not this is not the exact one but probably there is some one something else here i will give you all the details about these endpoints because here you can search like there are a lot of endpoints over here and uh, to fetch the environment details you can pass your organization id as a uri params for forward slash and environments click on send so this gives you the detailed information of each environment for example i have in my trial account total two environments one is design and the other one is sandbox so you will be get so this id is the environment id not the organization id so organization id is already gone that we have already fetched so forget about that so for this particular organization id so you are going to fetch the information about the environments like design and sandbox all right so as i am going to deploy my application in sandbox i have to copy this environment id i keep saying though though it is id it's environment id and then next step is to deploy the application now that i have everything in uh, in my place uh, like um, the organization id the business account and the environment all that i need to do is I have to deploy my application manually if you are doing what you are doing you are writing the name of the application deployment target all these default configurations and choosing the file upload the file the same process I am going to do via postman collection or you know it's kind of rest API using rest API so I will go to the post method so I have another resource called applications so we are going to use this endpoint to deploy our application so this is the request which we pass is a body and the type is form data okay because we are going to pass a file right so you have to upload the file so how can you get this jar right in your application usually what you do you deploy the application in your anypoint studio so there is a jar file that is generated in the target folder so copy that file and upload here so this name should always be file and here the type you can see right there is there are two options one is text and the other one is file choose file and this is my jar file currently I, it's a simple rest application you know this is the snapshot jar which i am uploading here and the other one the other part multi part means you are sending more than one payload so other part is a json payload which you are going to pass the name the key name will be like app info json and the value will be this one whatever i am showing over here for uh, better thing i have better view i will show you some in some json lint and paste it over here all right so these are the basic details that i am using to deploy the application but before that i wanted to show you in exchange about applications so get like this is the post method which i am going to use so here you can see the body is uh, media type is like multi -form part form data and application json both and it requires a file mule application and then these are the different uh, you know um, details which we need to use so just to explain what i am passing auto restart is true which is nothing but something like this automatically restart your application when not responding that is the uh, field next domain is nothing but your application name which you use here okay this is the domain name which is nothing but your application name and then mule version which version you want to use currently here it is 4.0 but for now i wanted to show you like it using 4.3.0 so this is where you can pass your mule version which is nothing but this one and then uh, region which region you would like to deploy your application so you can know your application which region you can deploy your application based upon that region you can probably because this is a cloud up uh, deployment right cloud up applications this is this can be done only for cloud up applications so i am this is my region currently 
and uh, these are monitoring enabled through all these things uh, are basic things then status actually this this particular field is not present i have used it uh, and then workers so workers is amount equal to 1 that means you have you are defining one worker for your trial account it is always one by default so you cannot use two then type what type name means micro micro means 0 0.1 v core all right so weight equal to 1 cpu equal to 0 0.1 v core again memory is 500 mb all this information you can see if you drop down here 0 0.1 v core is nothing but 500 mb memory so you are passing all these details under workers next logging enabled equal to true so these are the basic things and persistent queues equal to false object store v2 if you are using v2 this one here right so if you, you are checking this correct so true for this so what i will do is i will copy all these details go back to my postman collection paste it and then the first thing i will i would like to tell you is the application name is test jan 2022 or i can just rename it it's let me keep feb 2022 this is the application name which i wanted to give now you can see if i search for test yeah, there is no application but once i send the request you can see i got a 200 response with all these details all right so it says like this is the version id this is the domain which is nothing but my application name it is also giving you the cloud hub url over here but what is the status here the status is undeployed means here you can see automatically that there is an application with test feb 2022 but with status undeployed so this is by default when you hit this application like post request this is how uh, now you can see right you are able to at least like though the status is undeployed you are able to post the request to deploy create a new rather i can use this word you are creating an application so you have just created the application next thing is to deploy it so without manually going to deploy application or from any point studio this is another way to deploy your application but the status is undeployed for now but rest everything you can see right app url and all are generated if you go to manage application you can see your jar is uploaded whatever jar you have passed in multi-part form data this file you can see over here now i don't want to use again my any point platform to start click on start i will just do it by the rest api call so for that you have another endpoint called update where you can use this same uh, you know endpoint with put method here and then this is the input request so domains as i told you right uh, domains is nothing but the application name if i send the request it is giving 400 bad request why because it is saying no app found so, so there is no application with this name because my application name i have changed it so let me send feb 2022 and send the application i got a 200 status here with no response but still it is a successful thing if you go back you can see your application is getting started to deploy your application so i haven't done anything from any point platform all this so the, all these steps to deploy an application is done by all these one two three four five rest calls all right so let's wait for this application to get deployed so this is one way where you can deploy your applications for example you have a scenario where your team were asked to keep all the snapshots or jars in a folder okay and uh, you can run you can create a mule application uh, a scheduler job where it can pick the files the jar files basically then deploy the applications using that mule application itself so these are all rest calls you can use http requester and all this you can you know pass these tokens and all in the bearer token in the authorization tab and just deploy it so this is another way of you know uh, providing uh, like mules or provides you an another way to deploy your applications so let's wait for this and i will show you what else you can do So, Cloud Hub API, 
you can also search for deployment status for MuleSoft Cloud. It will show you the all the status details. Okay, if you are not sure about, so started, stop, restarted, delete, all these things. So start. This is the one which we have done, right? So go, if I go to my body here guys don't forget for each operation you have to pass your bearer token which you got in your first login thing all right so don't forget that so again going back to this update so the action is start here you can see right click the action to perform so everything is available in mules of docu documentation i as i always request you guys do your homework to just do it by yourself that will make you to uh, understand things in an easy manner all right so let me see here you can see my application got deployed here and it is in green status what i will do is now i wanted to stop the application so how to do that just change the action to stop and hit the this one and you got 200 okay go back it started to undeployed you know uh, stop the application if you go to settings you can see the application is already in stop status now i want to delete this application itself right so you can so just give action as did it send it you got 200 status and if you just refresh you can see nothing is happening it is going to you know nothing is happening because there is no application if you go back and search for test you know the application is deleted basically so this is a very good way to make use of cloud Hub api just go through the exchange documentation you have many things here right so so status for example so click on get if you want to know the status of the application if i copy this right and I'll just add duplicate this one go here always make a good habit to change the names get and uh, by default when I copy duplicate it right my authorization will always be there so domain it is I think domain is nothing but the application name right so it is to read application so domain is a string so what I can do is I will just give you a random domain like Sravan and send it. So it is saying that no application with the domain Sravan found. But if I go and search for an existing application uh, like Dbabu, so what I can do is instead of this DBABU and if I send the request it is giving the status like you know the application is in started position so you can have some health checks you know which applications is like down and all these things so there are many status so basically this cloud up api is mostly used for operations team to perform many actions like what are the applications which are undeployed what are the applications which are started so how can we restart the applications which are undeployed you know or it, when it is down so operations team it is really important for you guys to make use of this cloud api so that's all for this session so just try to do as many things as possible from this exchange and uh, yeah hope we will see more in coming sessions